So this is the robot back. Um, I'll show you a couple things on it. The first thing you'll notice is that it, it's got a push-in face. So as it, it, as it runs around, if it bumps into anything, it will stop moving forward and adjust its trajectory a little bit. But that's one thing that it does. And then if you noticed around here, it's got like a um, kind of a smoky color um, plastic. And it has uh, cameras and sensors in here, so it, it can sense walls and obstacles and all. Um, but those are the two ways it kind of sees the world through here and through this bumping. Uh, so if it runs into something, you'll, you'll know. And as it runs around, it starts to form like an internal memory of where it's at. So it's not just randomly keeping hitting the same thing over and over. At least it should. Yeah. Um, on the bottom, you've got a couple things going on here. These are the wheels that drive it, and they run independently, so it can turn. This is just a, a, a like a pivot. Doesn't do anything other than keep it stable. And then these are the sweeps, and they turn around like this. And they're drawing material in to this part of the vacuum here. And this is uh, just like the regular beater bar. And the suction comes in through here. And what you'll notice is as when it's done running, it will switch back here to turn this out. And then this is everything that needs to be cleaned. So when you open this up, there'll be a lot of hair and debris. It will be down in here. You just dump it out. But you also notice there's this really fine mesh screen here. And this will get uh, some material on there as well. This needs to be cleaned out, as well as the main filter, which is up here. I'll show you that in a second. But what I do is after I dump everything out, I just rinse this under the sink and have the water go down through here so it's rinsing all the debris away. Do that, let that dry. Then you have to clean this main filter here and the way you do that is you just separate it with your uh, fingernails. Take this apart, remember how you take it out. This tab is always up. This will get dirty, and I just bang it on the table like that, and, and you'll get dust that will come out. And then, then there's this other little screen, and you can rinse this. All these plastic pieces you can rinse out, and then when you put it back together, you put the uh, uh, black mesh down, you put this with the tab up, you push this in place, clip it all together, and then you'll see there's a little tab right here. And these two tabs have to meet up. They don't touch, but they have to be on the same side. And that's the only way you can close this lid. So if those two tabs don't line up, you'll never get this lid closed. But this has to close tightly. That has to close tightly and then it just slips back into the rear side of the uh, uh, vacuum. It's a little tricky to get it in there, but now it's all in there. Uh, so you have to clean the filter every time. You have to make sure that if these start getting clogged up with hair, they just pop off. And you can un take all the hair off and uh, then just put it back together and then this has to be cleaned out every now and then especially like if there's a piece of string or something this is just like a regular vacuum where there's a tool to to cut through that that you'll have um, but that's about it it's really easy to take care of the battery lasts a long time it's inside you never have to do anything and when you're ready to clean you just basically put it down on the ground and push this button. Uh, it's not charged up right now, but I'll do another video on how to charge it and how to get it to run. But that's how you take care of it.